The storyline of Dragon Age The Veil Guard unfolds after the events of Dragon Age Inquisition. Solas, a character we once fought alongside, is unveiled as the Dreadwolf, a mighty figure who originally crafted the veil that keeps the magical world of Thedas apart from the void, the realm of demons. After realizing the grave mistake of robbing the elves of their ancient splendor and immortality, he aimed to rectify his actions through a magical ritual to destroy the veil. But the ritual went awry resulting in the emergence of two powerful elven deities who are bent on dominating the world of mortals. We take on the role of a character known as Rook, as he embarks on an epic quest across Thetis on a mission to rally a team and traverse Thetis in a race against time to thwart the encroaching evil. Can he step up as the leader that his allies need and push back the shadows? Let's find out together. Join me on this thrilling adventure and let's unite the Veil Guard and defy the gods together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Dragon Age, The Veil Guard, and other exciting games. That's where you come in. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin, with the seediest bar in town and a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. She'd like you to stay a while. Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. It got us Nev's location. Come on, Harding will be worried. All right, break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. 
Something must have gotten them riled up. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza, then Nell will get us to Solus. Watch out! Is Solus summoning demons on purpose? My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the tracks. And when the veil comes down, come... Then the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Come on, this way! It should get us to Harding! You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? We're good, but we need to move. Agreed. Solus isn't waiting, neither can we. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up. We've got company. Here they come. and find Nev. You two all right? Pat yourselves up if you need it. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. Dumont Plaza. 
Sliding down. the worst timing Nev it's so good to see you we thought the Venatori had kidnapped you they thought the same thing a lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me figured I'd play along find out who wanted to settle the score this time then the sky started raining demons so I'm back on the job appreciate it Rook this is Nev Gallus our local expert she's gonna help us find solace Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. All citizens in the canal district must remain in their homes. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dreadwolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to break down the Veil. 
Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up fight, we're dead. Like the Venatori also found it, and then demons found them. on the entrance. I can get it. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? More demons. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that opened something below. Then let's have a look.
this the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook? I think it's an alluvian. I've seen a few in Arlathan Forest. They're elven. It acts like a doorway. Well, we're not in Minrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. were bad back in Minrathus. Fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it.
Good enough. Let's get to Solus. from here. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. I hope Varric is getting through to Solus. We better talk fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it.
tear down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! I'm with you! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. You have no idea what you have done. Soulless? I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. You brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. Thanks to me, I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric. Yeah, he said that's your style. 
never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion. Depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? You listen. You want me to take the shot? No! no! you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay, but I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus, but of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Nev got everyone out, by the skin of her teeth mostly. And before you start worrying, Harding will be fine. She's made of sterner stuff than either one of us. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like the expedition where you lost that invaluable map, but saved your friends. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Alfred. No, it's, it's fine. I was just gonna stretch my legs. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. Yeah, on top of everything else, the Illuvian took us to the Fade. A place where dreams come from, so... that. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid.
Look who's with us. We're, uh... We're really in the Fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. It's a lot to take in. Harding thought we should talk about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first. wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? I should be asking you that. I got you hurt. This is a dangerous job. Everyone knew that signing on. There's so much to do. We have to keep going. Are you sure you're all right? Maybe you should rest. Yes, Rook. I'm fine. This is nothing. I'm just a little dizzy. I'll walk it off. Or something. Harding, you can't just... Oh, yeah? Watch me. We need to get back to the ritual site, don't we? Let's stop worrying about me, and go do that. Come get me when you're ready to go. Wisps. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You all right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. It's a start. You're right. We're in this together either way. Ha! <laughs> We're in for a treat. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's, uh... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. Not much isn't gonna save the world. This'll get worse before it gets better. The question is, how? Cheerful. That's what I'm here for. Don't have anything for you, or did you just miss me?
must be two more. Second, one more to go. did something. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? While I was out cold. He showed up in my dream, and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that, either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic? Like... Any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we are not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elgrenon and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. They're our next target. So we set our sights on a pair of elven gods. Like it's easy. Who else is gonna do it? If they're loose, they need killing. They were evil tyrants who enslaved their people. We need to stop them. Solus says Elgrenon and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... God running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. 
We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that, without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elgernon and Gilanane are worse than Solas, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solas is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind, but this time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site, instead of back to Minrathis. Then let's hope it takes us back. Harding, are you okay to go? I'm not going to sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irulan? What are you doing back in Arlathan? Long story. Isn't it always with you? And did I hear you're going by Rook now? Nev, this is Strife and Irulan. They're veil jumpers like me. Experts in elven magic. I worked with them before Harding and Varric recruited me. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? Thought you were supposed to stop him. Or did unforeseen complications lead to unforeseen consequences, again? Will you let it go? Yes, the map was destroyed, but everyone walked out of there alive. I told you to wait. If I'd waited for you to make a copy, people would have died. So you ran off on your own, and now we've lost the only way of navigating back to that site. 
We lost the work put into it. Everything we uncovered, and everything we hadn't. Ugh. Solus's ritual? You stopped it? Sky's not ripping itself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arlet the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual, but something else got out. Someone else, supposedly. Elgrenon and Gilanane. Mithalanast. Two of the elven gods of old. The Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world, that explains a lot. So Elgrenon and Gilanane are loose. Which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them... Let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. Of all the ancient things to unearth, of course it had to be two of the Evanuris, and of course it had to be you that unearthed them. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Luter. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Bolara. Harding, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. I can help. I know you want to, but we don't know what we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. Okay, fine. I'll stay. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Never been to this part of Arlethan before. This fog's strange. I've never seen fog like this. Something's not right. So that suit of armor is moving. Eyes open. Gotcha. Oh, people. Where'd you come from? Bolara? Bolara Luter? Strife Ireland sent us to find you. Wait. Didn't you used to be a Veil Jumper? You left with Varric. What was your name? Rook. At least that's the nickname Varric gave me. Nevgalus. Wait, I know that name. But protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed for the worse, unfortunately. The Elven Gods Elgrenon and Gilanane have escaped Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait, I need a second. Like I said, end of the world. You can mull it over later. It does sort of explain a few things though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. 
thick as fog. Only a god or gods could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it and dangerous, really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but. But what? See that shimmer? That's a veil bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Irland said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then, let's get going. Odd to find a camp this far out. There are Veil Jumper camps all over Arlathan. It's a big forest, and you never know where the magic will start going wild. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. To the bubble. Can't pass through it. We need to shut down the artifact first. Is that water just swirling into the air? I've never seen that kind of magical anomaly here before. We call it the Whirlpool. They're not usually this big, though.
go. Then let's deal with them quick. <laughs> Any ideas on what the artifact we're looking for might be? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. Nice to find ruins that haven't been picked clean. Most people are too afraid to go this deep into Arlathan. Except us fail jumpers. With how wild the magic's been here, I don't blame them. Do you know what this place was? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. Well, isn't this a sight? Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. Think we can make the jump? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Wow. Isn't that something? A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the Ring Temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. Ah! 
Lucky shot. energy. That should be clear ahead. So you're really Nev Gallus? The detective from Minrathis? Last time I checked. I've read about you. You've gone after some powerful mages before, but Fen Harel? The real Fen Harel? And now Elganon and Gilanane, apparently. My actual gods are out there trying to end the world, and Nev Gallus is on the case. I just... I can't believe it! Someone met a bad end here. Even mages have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. construct. We'll have to take it down. Okay. Easy enough. But watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. of ruins never gets old. Anything here that can help you piece together what exactly that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be.
constructs. It means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armor. I think I know what the artifact is. <laughs> Take that. So if this is an armory, what sort of artifact are we finding? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Ancient elves use them to store knowledge and to help them dream. believed it until today. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. Sure thing. We're not alone. seen dark spawn this deep into Arlington Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. Could the Elven Gods be commanding the dark spawn? 
Solus did say they were blighted. You saw those dark spawn, though? Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. The wall looks weak here. I bet we could break it somehow. I wonder if that ballista could smash through this wall. Right where you broke that wall. And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Fingers crossed. Notice 
something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. Building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. Why is it called that? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. More constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Looks like this door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. Be another one of those power crystals around here somewhere. Break through that wall.
did it. All that's left is the Nautis Drithalin. I have so many questions for it. You're going to ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Thalen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Oh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What, what do you.
So that's the Nautis Durthalan? It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken, though. Needs fixing. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife in Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Bail Jumper camp. Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest. And some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nodis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nodis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe, but we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know, but maybe. If we find them... We find the gods, or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife, when we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people, and it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Try not to die, or make things worse. And Rook... Yeah? Watch your back. Could we really be at war with Okay, our own we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. We aren't prepared.
Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. Whole lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. What a view. That was the capital city, Arlathan. This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. Rook, you ready to go?
A giant owl. Must be something to this. Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. Quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? This way. Be right there. It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. than in the forest. No one gets out. No exceptions. 
You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. We'll be rewarded. All of us. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here, and everything will be fine. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. The town square! We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The Blight must have lifted it up there. This Blight is weird. Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for Veil Jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? More people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. Another veil jumper. Valara. Jahel, he's alive. Valara. We're we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods... the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Sounds close.
the mayor of this town the village the people are they uh... blighted dead all of them you gave them to the gods didn't you didn't you they were in my head infecting my thoughts they made me do it please help me You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. All this? For gold? The villagers? The veil jumpers? The blights everywhere! Demetta's crossing is dead because of your greed! Uh, I, I didn't know! You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices! The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die! The blights! Everywhere! What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? Leave him here. He can fend for himself. No! Wolves will get him in the night. Or, given the state of this place, something worse. He killed an entire village. There must be justice for that. Right. And we choose what form that justice takes. Somebody has to. You don't understand the power they have! They show you what you crave! They speak to the darkness in your heart! No one can stand against that. Watch me. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. No. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects. Even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight. And corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight. All of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elgernon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators, what about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gilanane use them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force.
They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. All this horror because a bunch of power-hungry gods want even more power. When have the powerful among us ever done otherwise? So how do we stop them? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it, maybe fix it even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods! And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone, but we can stop them together. Bolara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Illuvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well, and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born, or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. Do this, Lace. It's gotta be done.
I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. You didn't take the shot. I destroyed the statue. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Look. There's magic lingering in this spot. Strong. Old. The dagger was here. Something took it. <laughs> Darkspawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. There it goes. Open. Look up there, that magical device.
keep on the trail. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. Anyone spot that ghoul? It must have come this way. More dark spawn ahead. More dark spawn coming out of those pools. Can't get along. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. Over there, our dagger thief. Uh, 
More blight in the way. Probably another one. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Another one of those magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. One. Now to find the other.
Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. That's a problem. Got him to the distance. That has to be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. Miriam, 
Harding? I... I... Uh... Harding! This is the eternal hymn, the prayer and the proclamation! Sure. We should get back. We'll talk it through there. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the Dreadwolf Stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his stagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. I honestly don't know what to think. Tell me about it. Maybe I just need time. It's all strange, but somehow I feel connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe... The dagger unlocks something hidden. But... But this is more than the stone sense I know. I know it's strange. But... Is this gonna create problems for us? I trust you have all this handled. You always have things handled. 
I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus.